They grumble. They're invited to a party and they're angry about it. But not only are Jesus' words a challenge to them, Jesus' words are an invitation. Come to the party. But to come to the party, you see, they have to recognize that they also are among the lost. And they can't do that. They can't see beyond the, 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 the constructs of their law and the way that they have established their lives. Now, we, again, we have to be careful about you know, saying stuff like this because the gospel writer has an agenda here, always wanting to paint the religious authorities in a bad light. But there is some truth in it that they did not want to accept God's invitation. These stories are not just about being lost and being found. They're about our, our relationships with God. You see. And today, as we read the stories, we need to keep in mind that our categories are sometimes off. We need to keep in mind that there, there's a difference between saving and welcoming. One of those we can do, and one of those we absolutely cannot do. We cannot save anyone, ever. We can't save ourselves. We can't save anyone else. That is wholly, strictly, the work of God and the Holy Spirit. We cannot save anyone. And we don't have to. Because God is already seeking and has already found the lost. And God is already inviting them to come be a part of the party. So we don't have to worry about that, that saving thing. That isn't our work. Our work is to embody the radical hospitality and welcome everyone. We put it on our signboard outside. That we change once a millennium. We, we welcome everyone. We welcome everyone. There are some churches, and I, I, I won't name any churches, and I don't mean to disparage any churches. They're doing the best they can with the knowledge they have. But there are some churches who will invite people to come be a part of God's party and then say, here's what you have to wear. Here's how you have to act. Here's what you have to eat. Here's when you have to be there. Here's where you have to go. And they expect all these changes to take place as if they're going to actually be a part of the salvation of these folks. We can't do that. They want to change people before they'll welcome them. But that isn't what the gospel says. That isn't what Jesus embodied for these folks. The lost and the found, the same. Our job is to welcome everyone. We welcome everyone, regardless of age, regardless of, of, of social status, regardless of education, regardless of place of origin, regardless of sexual orientation and gender identity, regardless of anything that we might want to think of, regardless, we welcome everyone. And we will be saved, we will know we are saved, when we can do that. When, when, when the nature of the community and the importance of the, the, the wholeness of the community becomes the way in which we define ourselves. When everyone is invited and everyone is welcome, 
That shows the true repentance, the change that has taken place and is taking place in our hearts and in our lives. We welcome everyone. When there is no longer a category or, or no longer the categories of lost and found, but there is simply the category of the community. When there is no us and them, when there is no inside and outside, when we welcome and invite and include everyone, then God is changing us and we can join the party. You see, we've got the, the one, another one of these gospel twists here. The scribes and the Pharisees who thought they were the found show that they are the lost. And Jesus invites them to come join the party. And those who thought they were lost know that they are found. And that's us. We are all of us Welcome in God's community. We are all of us invited to come and participate and rejoice and, 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 and have a party with God. Because God is at work in us and in the world. Because God has sought and has found. Because God continues to seek and continues to find. No lost, no found. Just God's welcoming, hospitable, loving community. Let us pray. We thank you, God, for your invitation. We thank you that you call us to join you at table. We thank you that you change us within and then we can work out that salvation. We thank you, Lord, that you have found us. Help us to invite everyone to your party. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.